Um, yeah, so I've seen the comments on a lot of the videos. Yeah, sometimes people um, seem to be, I think they should think I should be wearing some gold trainers or something. Um, but yeah, look, for me, um, obviously you grew up with me, so you know sort of what it was like for me growing up. Like, growing up, there wasn't a lot of money. There wasn't really any money. You know, I couldn't, I never was able to sort of go shopping, buy clothes, stuff like that. It was always hand-me-downs, this kind of thing. And like, if, if I had money to buy food, it would have to be like, whatever was cheapest, like 70p Scotch egg from Tesco's or like, you know, halal fried chicken 199, this kind of thing. Um, so obviously for me growing up, I never really got into the habit of spending money because there was never no money to spend really. But, but as you know, I was very committed to making money. I always wanted to make a lot of money. Um, and then when I got my job, in the city as a trader. Um, actually, the amount of money people was making was a lot more than I thought, than I thought was a lot of money. Like the amount of money, which was a lot of money to them, was a lot more than what I had imagined basically. And um, I realized two things like quite early in my career, which was one, these guys are making a lot of money, like really a lot of money. And two, most of these guys have got no idea what they're doing. <laughs> so like, that mean, like I remember one guy like when early in my career there was a guy a trader on my desk and he like rocked up at like 10 a.m. We were supposed to start at 7 a.m. And the boss asked him, why, why are you getting this late? And he said, oh, last night was um, Russian New Year. <laughs> they said he had to be out partying all night for this. And this guy, he didn't know what he was doing. But I realized that there was a lot of guys didn't know what they were doing and they're making a lot of money. And that made me realize if I really get my head down, I can figure out what's happening here. You know, like I've spoken in my other videos about how the predictions are wrong every single year. So I realized, look, these guys don't know what they're doing. They're still making a lot of money. If I can figure out what's really happening here, I can make in a few years enough money to retire, basically. And like, I got my head down and just devoted myself to like, I want to figure out what's happening in the economy, how to be the best trader that there is, basically. And like, I was just obsessed with it. That. That's all I thought about. That's all I did every day. And um, I was so obsessed with becoming the best trader that I didn't really have time to think about what to do with this money. And like, I sort of put my head down for like two, three years. And by the time I looked up, I was the top trader in the bank and I'd made millions of pounds basically. And then it was just there and then suddenly like, I didn't even really, I came from being very poor and not ever spending money. And then by the time I made money, by the time I'd stopped working out to make money, I was already really rich, basically, enough, rich enough to retire. So, but as I've spoken about in some of my other videos, I made the money by betting that the global economy was gonna be terrible forever. So it was like a mad situation I was in, right, where I'd made all this money and I'd never even started spending money. So I was still living like an ordinary person um, in terms of spending. And yet suddenly I'd made millions of pounds by betting the world was going to be terrible forever, you know what I mean? So then it was like, by then it was enough money to retire, you know what I mean? And then I was sort of thinking, well, if you've got enough money to retire and you know that terrible things are going to happen, probably you need to retire and try and do something, at least say something, you know? Even if it's not going to work, you have a responsibility, don't you, to try and say something. So then like, I quit the job, right? And um, I quit the job before I'd ever really started spending money. And then when I quit the job, then I didn't have no income, <laughs> you know what I mean? So then suddenly it was a weird situation where I had a lot of money in the bank, but I'd gone back into a situation where like month to month, I wasn't having any money coming in. So it was kind of a weird situation. And um, even though I knew that I had made a lot of money, it was, um, it's this weird sort of insecure feeling when there's nothing coming in. Like that was like, you know, what it was like when I was a kid. And then um, I just, um, I just thought I'd go back to like how life always was. No, like, don't get me wrong, right? I'm not eating Scotch eggs from Tesco anymore. Well, I do sometimes, but um, you know, I still, I like to travel and you know, sometimes I go to restaurants and you know, you know, I eat when I need to eat. Like I used to skip meals and I don't have to do that. But for me, like, I suppose I became so interested in economics and the economy that like, that is what I put my energy into. You know what I mean? And. Also, I know what it's like to not have money. It's, it's shit to not have money, it's difficult. And um, 
for me, the most important thing about having money is I don't need to worry about paying the mortgage. I don't need to worry about paying the bills. I don't need to worry about my kids being poor like I was poor, you know what I mean? For me, that's, that's what I really want, like. I don't really need a gold chain, and you know what I mean? A pair of Balenciagas, like. For me, I never, was never really interested in that. Like, like, don't get me wrong, like, if, if you work your life to buy, like, a, your dream car, then go and buy it. But for me, it was never really about that. I just wanted to be a damn good trader, and, um, and I was. And, and also to just not have those worries that my parents had. And um, that I had when I was a kid, and those are gone. Like so, for me, like that money, I can use it to bet on the markets. I can use it to to exercise my skill, which is understanding the economy and being a good trader. But the most important thing about it is, it means that I have the freedom to do this as my job. You know, I don't get paid to do this. I do this because I think it's important that people know that the only way to make things better is to deal with these problems, both inequality. So. Um, so yeah, if people want to know why um, I don't drive a Lamborghini in my videos, it's, um, it's because um, nobody's paying me to make them and um, I don't need a Lamborghini. And, uh, for me, look, I'm just a regular guy. I'm here for the economics. That's, um, yeah, that's it, you know. Maybe if I start getting 100 million views, things will change, but um, we'll see. <laughs>